Yeah, Tony, uh, the SMX 2100 SB, a pop popular machine. The SMX has mm. done really well for Mill CNC from yeah, DN Solutions. Yeah, yeah. Um, classed as a multitasking machine, what does that actually mean? I think really what most people would think by that is that generally I think we all know what a lathe is and we know what a machining center is but this machine brings those two elements together it's not a live tool it's a proper milling spindle so mm -hmm. I think when we look we, we call it that multitasking you're doing multitasks yeah I mean some would question some ask how capable is is, is the milling side of these style of machines you've got your vertical machining centers over the yeah. other side of the stand yeah. I mean are they comparable yes yeah no that's a full built-in spindle so um, that's 18 kilowatt spindle. So it's just as capable as a BT40 machining center. And, and the argument, I suppose, you've got, you got people here looking at this machine now. Are they coming to this type of machine to look at, you know, maybe a part that they've had to move around their machine shop, produce various different yeah. operations in different places, and do it all in one place? 100%. I think accuracy comes into it because the fewer times you move apart between processes, then you're not building accuracy into it. So being able to do it all in one sitting, I think certainly helps with that. It reduces fixture costs. Um, but also if you look at the part maybe that's on the machine, it's a turbine blade, you know, you couldn't do it any other way really. It needs that full five axis simultaneous technology. But do you often find that some of your customers are making, you know, quite simple parts, but yeah. that just got lots of features on them and clearly by doing them in this method, it's gonna save them a lot of time. The problem is with a standard lathe, generally you're looking at a 12 station turret, okay, you might have 16 and you might have half position index. But, you know, even when you start thinking, well, I want to centre drill the hole, I want to drill the hole, I want to tap the hole, I want to ream the hole, you soon run out of positions and, and it's a lathe at the end of the day, so you still need some turning tools on the turret. So I think, you know, this machine's got uh, an 80 tool ATC on it, so, you know, you've got the best of both worlds, really, and you're not, you can set your tools up you're not breaking the machine down each time to reset it up again, you can leave your tool set up. And you've got two spindles and your milling head. Is the, the possibility of a turret on this machine yes. as well? Yeah. So you've yep. got a really universal working area, I Correct. suppose, haven't you? Correct. Uh, y axis? Yep. Or, yeah, okay, so yep. really there's not a lot this, yep. could, this couldn't make. No, no. And, and when I look at this type of machine and I look at all of the machines that DN Solutions do, there's a lot of competition in a lot of areas. Mm, mm. But I still think with multitasking, you're, you're there isn't, there isn't many options, is there, in the marketplace? Would you agree? I, I well, would, certainly someone you, that's been doing it for a long, long time. I, I, I agree. If you look at a vertical machining centre, there's, there's a number of suppliers you could go to. But when you start getting to the higher technology machines like the SMX, then really there's, there's fewer suppliers uh, and then even fewer suppliers that maybe have been doing them for 20 years. So, um, yeah, it's a proven product. This is the third, fourth generation of the product. So, um, and what do people really want from a machine like this? They come into your showroom, they come here to Mac. You know, what's in their mind? What, what makes them tick? Flexibility. I think flexibility, you know, as soon as, going back to the driven tool lathe, as soon as you start to get angled holes, etc., it becomes very difficult. So being able to, obviously the B-axis is fully programmable to, uh, you know, three decimal places, um, any angle that you want, full contouring, it's that flexibility, certainly for a subcontractor, he doesn't know what job's coming through the door next, and this gives them the flexibility to be able to machine virtually anything. 